He's got a hook in there. Poor old Joel's got a hook. He's been trying to fish. We had a meeting to work out when we should head back. Some of the riders expressed concern about getting up the magpie jump up and how difficult it would be and how long it might take. So it was decided that we'd leave a day earlier than planned and as it turned out allowed us time to recover Mike and his bike which hand grenaded. Terminal, it's done something pretty major. The deal is what, you're going to walk back to the camp? Yeah, I'll walk back to the camp. With Mike, make sure you stay on the track. I will. Yeah. And the front of your belly. As long as Mike's safe, he can get a helicopter out to the main station. Well, uh, here I am out in the middle of nowhere. Six, uh, about seven k's from back to the yeah. middle of, uh, yeah, about an hour. I just trying to get a drink out of my backpack. And you wouldn't believe it, and the camelback's got a hole in it and it's all leaked out. And I'm all alone. Except for the lonely dingo. Better track, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah, a lot better now, man. We can see where we're going, it's good. Edge got a nice pace, we're not cruising along. Okay, John, can you tell me what happened? Uh, yeah, I've got a uh, stick catch on my uh, fuel line. I snapped a little plastic uh, quick, re quick release fuel. Snapped it off? Yeah, so uh, just had to fit a new piece of uh, fuel line. I woke up the sore back today. I think it's because I had a nice thick mattress. So I'm a bit sore to <laughs> it. And this is a magpie jump up that everyone was concerned about. It didn't turn out to be the problem we thought it would be. No one had any problems. Despite the extra fuel that the two-stroke required, it seemed to handle the whole journey with no problems at all. Very reliable and a bit lighter than all the rest of the four-strokes. Riding out seemed to be a lot faster than riding in. Isn't that always the way? As soon as the bike's noses were headed for home, there was no stopping them. As the sun slowly sets over the famous Derby Jetty, we contemplate the last three weeks of this fantastic journey.